have our mod, we're going to start the review at the top and work our way down. So starting at the top we have a spring loaded 510 connection which is gold plated and every tank I've thrown on this has fired no problem. We have our fire button, our up and down button and as you can see they're not labelled but it's not a problem, they're nice and clicky and there's no rattle so big thumbs up for that. We have our screen which is relatively small but it gives us all our information, I'll show you that in just a bit. On the back we've got nothing but nice and plain and simple and on the bottom we've got the Icebox logo, our charging port and two screws that make like a little face. So guys now the screen and the functions. To turn this guy on it's five clicks of the fire button so one, two, three, four, five. It'll say system on then boom it's on. As you can see we're in wattage mode at the moment. To switch the modes it's three clicks of the fire button so one, two, three. And as you can see the bottom will blink and you press your up button to go into bypass mode, that's awesome to see a bypass mode on this guy, especially how small it is. Next we've got temperature controlled and also temperature controlled Fahrenheit and then we're back to wattage so we click that to lock it in. As you can see the screen looks a little funky but trust me this is bright, it's beautiful, super easy to read. I really actually do like it for how simplistic it is but also how easy it is to read because it is super, super bright. Okay guys, vape time. I'm going to be vaping at 50 watts. The coil is reading at 0 0.55 ohms. Let's give it a vape. Okay, so definitely not that bad considering that it's such a small little device and it's reading at 0 0.55 ohms, 50 watts, which is obviously the max for this device, but the clouds aren't that bad. So let's talk about flavour. Flavour is pretty good. I'm going to say this is probably above average, so I'm actually really impressed with the flavour of this tank. But like I mentioned in the up close, I'm not the biggest fan of this tank because I've had some bad experiences with previous glass. I will mention it was previous glass because this stuff seems a lot more sturdy. Maybe it was just a bad batch. I'm not that sure. But this definitely seems better. I've also had no problems with leaking or anything like that. The airflow is quite restrictive. Like I mentioned in the up close, it's tiny, that little hole there and the other side obviously is adjustable so you can adjust it and close it fully off if you really wanted to but it's just so so small you just don't get enough air for my, for my likeness anyways. Obviously this only goes up to 50 watts so whatever tank you are powering it's not like it's going to be chucking too many clouds so you don't necessarily need that much of an airflow but I definitely think you need more than that but not too bad overall. Okay guys so now price and where can you get this from? Obviously you can pick this up from the manufacturer and links will be down below so go check it out there but also if you do want to purchase this they currently offer a discount code which is vape on links and all that information will be down below which is 20% off so you can get 20% saving on this if you just type in the discount code vape on okay so cost you can pick up the whole kit everything you see here for 40 pounds that's not that bad, okay? That's the same price as a mini vault. Just the mod, nothing else. 40 quid for a starter kit. Not that bad. Like I said, it's a shame because the mod is actually pretty good and the tank is not so good. But on the last video of the bigger 80 watt device, the tank was fantastic and the mod wasn't all that. So it's a bit weird how this one, the mod's fantastic, tank is a bit shit. And then on the last one, the mod was a bit shit, but the tank was fantastic. So what they need to do, or what you guys need to do, is purchase the mod, which you can get for £30, I believe, which I think is actually a pretty decent price, because you have to remember, this has bypass mode, temperature control mode, and also wattage mode up to 50 watts. It's small, it's convenient, it's nifty, it's a little stealthy kind of vape, and for £30, just for the mod, I think that's a decent price. And then you can purchase the tank separately from the last video, which is just amazing for flavour. Just absolutely incredible. Whack it on this and boom, you've got a combo, which is just fantastic. Okay guys, so my final thoughts and some pros and cons. Let's start with some cons. The first ones have to be with the tank. Starting with how you take off the top. You have to unscrew it the opposite way to every other tank there ever was, which is just a bit silly and like I mentioned, you can unscrew the coil because of this. You can combat that by just making sure the coil is really tightly screwed in, but still, you don't want that worry. You don't want it to be the opposite way around because when I'm using other devices, I'm unscrewing it easily like every other tank, filling up, no problem. Then this one, I'm like, why is it not coming off? Oh wait, it's the opposite way around. 
It's just weird. I don't know why they did it. And I really just don't like that. That's a big negative for me. Obviously the glass I had issue with before, but I'm not sure if that's because I had like a first look option. And now with the replacement one, you know, it's strong, it holds well, and I don't think there's a problem at all. I hopefully think you guys won't have a problem as well. It's maybe just the first one that I got sent. But it's something to mention that obviously it got through the net and I got sent some faulty glass. Just something to mention. The pros though, the pros are with the mod. This thing I love, I think it's fantastic. I love the size, so small, so stealthy. I love the looks as well, so simple. The screen, super bright, super easy to read. Also, all the modes it has. Goes up to 50 watts, bypass mode, which is fantastic. Also temperature controlled, it does everything. It does everything in a small, convenient little box and at a good, reasonable price. I mean, what more do you want? So guys, that is the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Please also like and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.